This is the Legend Award. And to become a dance legend, that means you really have to set standards here. That means somebody that came in the game and changed it. And C.Y. is one of those guys that changed the game back in the day. Now, my story with C.Y. is a little different than what he would say, but I remember him as a young man dancing with KRS, coming up, trying to get himself together. Before he even had his own groups, he was out here doing this for the kids. Then when he started his own group, uh, it was CPR. I remember them. Before it was uh, Check Boys, I remember CPR. And uh, I had two people that was going to go talk and still on the way, but we got to get this rolling. Um, before a CPR, and CPR was one of them teams, I mean, we was at the festival, and at the time before the, the CY craze came, he was one of the guys walking around with his team trying to get them put them on from the mud. Nobody was giving this man up. This was his hard earned money, time, uh, t-shirts, party music, you name it, parties. The parties used to give, the parties. And all the generation, those kids that came out from that era, they, they came out. And it was always uh, viral between Dollar Boys and Check Boys. And it was, wasn't it? It was a big viral between them. But Check Boys, um, they outlasted what Dollar Boys had. You know, once Dollar Boys got mainstream, they just went on about it. But we wanted to give a true leader to the youth. Uh, someone who did it and not necessarily wanted the, the fame behind it. He didn't want the clock behind it. He never lost the drive. And when he took his time off to get his life together, he came back on businesses now. And then he's looking forward to come back. So anybody got any young boys that want to dance, you get Vince Scott. See why? Come on up, see why? Come get your flowers. He deserves this right here more than, more than so many of that. That's okay. All right. Because I wasn't sure it was the end. I you know something funny about that. But this is uh, CY. Let me just get a picture real quick. Can you snap this for me real quick? I got it. 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 I was one of the ones that got Corey Flock and them. They were a generation under him. He was their sensei. He was one of the ones they looked up to. You know so this is go. This is a lot deeper than what I just said about Corey, and that was a lot. This guy right here, um, I don't know. We never. Our teams never really had rival. I mean, the first time they did a show, a competition came and did my show. They won. Remember E? I remember. And then we was up Germantown, <laughs> and they came back and won again. So then you know, so working with the young men, keeping them off the streets. It's, it's been a lot. And he also, he's lost people, he's lost dancers. Dancers couldn't save them all. But he did his job. And I want to give him the microphone and let him know what's going on. Hey, yo. What's going on, yo? So, I ain't good with, you know, speaking in front of crowds, but I'm going to try my best anyway. Um, the battles that we got to go to as, go through as um, youth leaders is a different type of battle. Because when I had the youth groups, I'm fighting between getting them to practice, but where the practice is, you gotta walk past the drug corner. So I'm fighting with the drug corner, snatching my young boys. That's, I got 30 of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm fighting with the drug corner, snatching them. Are you going to a corner? Are you going to practice? Are y'all are you dancing? And you know, once they hit 15, 16, if you ain't got no money for the, for the young boys, they turn into the drug corner to try to find a way. You feel what I'm saying? So I almost lost my life. I almost took a life. I've been battling back and forth. We're trying to keep the guys, the younger guys, with something to do. And any time it got dry for me, I knew Marty and Shadow Tracks and what was going on here was around. So I'm like, yeah, all right, I can bring the young boys to Marty and then I'm running out of all hope. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Other than, because you can, you can do YouTube videos or you can uh, you know, do Instagram videos, but it's nothing like that feeling when you touch, you touch the stage in front of that crowd. It's a different feeling, a different vibe. You know what I'm saying? So, I, like for a long time, I feel like I was blackballed. Like you know, when it comes to the dance community, because they ain't understand me. I'm, a, I'm from 23rd and Jefferson Lumber Project, so I carry myself a certain type of way. And when you view me, you don't really understand me from my demeanor. But if you even know me, my heart bigger than my body. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's, it's not easy to work a nine to five and use the money that you're making that was that was pennies 
to support and provide for all the youngins going broke trying to do it. I ended up catching a federal case trying to provide for the youngins. You know what I mean? And even Tad been piggybacking on what Corey Flock was saying about him getting shot. If anybody wanted this more than anything, it's him. I had to literally stop making him practice when he had a philosophy bag on his hip. He wouldn't stop dancing. You know what I mean? I done went through trial and error with all of my lost four. I got six people on my chain right now that I lost. Back to back. You know what I mean? So this is this, this, this definitely a battle trying to figure it out. But if you're doing it from love and not personal gain, you win every time. Yes, sir. Right now I got I got DJ Crazy, who's I, I've influenced. I got Corey Fox, who's I, who I've influenced. DJ Pops, who I've influenced. There's a lot of different people. Yeah, it's Gorge Flame. I got a lot of different people that I've influenced through the, through the portion of the wave that's still going. And that's like giving me a million dollars even if I don't ever make another dollar. Right, right. Ever in life. So I appreciate y'all. I ain't gonna take too much of y'all time, but I love all y'all.